way, the last five minutes, if you'll stay with me, I want to show you how to breast self-exam. So we're going to actually just do it in supine twist. I'm going to show you first before you lay down, so it's a little easy. Most breast cancers, about 78% of them, are actually found on the left side. Watch, that's the feminine side in yoga. It's also where your heart is. So it's not, to me, it's not a big shocker that we have breast cancers often on the left because that's our, it's where we hold so much weight around our heart, right? Cancer is inflammation and stress. So the way you do it is you would take your opposite hand of that arm and you're basically gonna take, think that your boob, no matter how big your boob is, is three circles. There's a big circle, a medium circle, and an inner circle around your nipple, okay? And then you just make tiny circles around that outer circle. So I'm like doing my circles around, around, around. Then I'm doing my circles in the middle and then around the nipple. Here's the thing, you're not a doctor and you can't actually find necessarily a cancer lump. What we're doing is setting a baseline so you know what the flesh of your boob feels like so that you know once a month when you do it, what feels different. So let's lay on your back for me, supine twist. Pull your right knee up into your chest, breathe in. Supine twist your leg over to the side and now open your right arm out. Take your left hand and with your two fingers, your pointer and your middle, start in the armpit area where your lymph nodes are. This is where a lot of cancer, like a lot of tumor bumps start in the lymph area. So you're just trying to feel. Now my breast tissue, I've got kind of like B and a halves. I don't mind my boobs, they're fine. It's like, they're not, they're not small enough to not wear a bra <laughs> and they're not like the bigger ones. I've got like the ones that just kind of float off to the side, but you guys keep going as I'm talking, keep making the circle. But the thing is that I know that my left breast tissue is denser than my right because I do this, you know, quite often. And I don't know why, it's just the way my body is, that it's okay if there's bumps. You're gonna feel a lot of different bumps. The difference is that some bumps feel like they're connected, right? And especially, I'm about to get my period. This is not the best time for you to check. Um, it's actually five days after your cycle ends is the best time. But you're just setting a baseline, just work with me here. And you're like, okay, well that, that lump's kind of connected. I can feel that's like a connected lump. It's connected to something. That lump kind of hurts when I push into it. A cancerous or tumorous lump often doesn't hurt. That's one of the main keys, right? It's like, it kind of feels like it's disconnected from things. It's just floating in your boob space. It often feels like a little, you know, a little tiny dime sized that wouldn't hurt if you pressed on it. If you hurt, it's typically like um, a swollen, swollen breast fibrous tissue, let's call it. All right, so for me, I'm on that second circle. I'm just kind of feeling it out and I feel, all right, all right. I feel lots of lumps, but when you get in there, there's like milk ducts and there's all these things that get weird feelings, but I kind of have the base now, what my boob feels like. All right, so if you're with me, feel kind of content, pull your knees to chest and let's switch to the other side. Take your left knee in, supine twist the other way. Let's take your right hand, your peace fingers, and just try to start again from the armpit area. Just feel what your tissue feels like. And even from side to side, like I shared, my two sides feel different. My boobs are a little like swollen right now because I'm about to get my period. Oof. Oh, and then I even feel like kind of a lumpy on the top of my left breast. I've actually had it checked out before because of my history, I got an MRI. And it's just, it's just a lump that I naturally have in my boob. It's not anything to be fearful of. You know, you can get it checked out if it changes. That's another sign is if you feel like every month you check and you're like, okay, I feel it, cool. I feel what my boobs feel like. I've got this weird lump on the left side. It doesn't mean you have cancer. It just means that you've got that lump on your boob, right? My elbows are a little bit different. If I straighten my arms in a handstand, my left elbow turns out more than my right. It's just the way your body is. But that's why they say early detection is the best protection because only you know your boob. And now guess what? Guess who's the number one person that finds cancer or finds the, the bumps is your partner. Partners find the majority of, of lumps because they're the ones that feel your boobs. <laughs> it's typically not you. It's actually partners that feel a difference, right? So it's up to us and hopefully our partners who feel our boobs if you have one that will tell you if something feels different. Five days after your period, you're searching for something that feels different. Another thing that I learned working at Susan G. Komen was that it doesn't have to necessarily be a bump or a lump. It could also be a weird divot. So if in your breast tissue, you saw like, you know, an indented divot 
and all of a sudden the skin was pulling differently, then that would be something you would get checked out because that means something inside is growing where it's pulling the skin differently. All right, now that you felt your boobs for the past five minutes, <laughs> I hope that I just gave you a little bit of insight. We shouldn't be scared to check our own boobs. And in fact, it's the most power we have. Breast cancer is the number one, or number two killer of women in America, and one out of every eight women, one of us on this call, will get breast cancer. But it's not a death sentence, especially now. If you find it early, you can totally get it removed and have lots of preventative treatments. So just remember, five days after your period's the best time. I typically do it in the shower. I kind of put shave my armpit, and that's kind of my reminder. Like, all right, I could do this. I put my shampoo in, and then the other side, I do the conditioner, right? But remember that that is, it's faith over fear. It's having faith that I'm healthy and I'm gonna keep protecting myself. The same way you take a fucking vitamin or we eat greens to keep us protected. All right, thank you for staying with me guys. Love you, love you. I'll see you tomorrow for Power Pelvis. Just so you know too, for this boot camp, because of the way that my travel schedule is working out, we're gonna take a week off, which isn't much time, and then start again next week. So we'll take a couple days off Next Tuesday starts Boot Camp 21. So tomorrow's our last day. Boot Camp 21 starts, we run it for two weeks. Cool? Bye, I'll see you guys tomorrow.